past has caught up with me. Should we be worried? No, no, it's nothing. I'll be home for Christmas. I promise. To me, I feel someone must have said, it's a Die Hard movie, but with Hawkeye. Yeah. Surely that must have been tossed around. It's like Lethal Weapon-ish. Yeah, I mean, kind of, it, it has those elements to it, but it was never pitched that way. <laughs> Where's Agent Barton? Rewind back. The Hawk. You get the role. Up in his nest as usual. How do you celebrate? And did you have any sense, any real sense at that point, that it would become such a career-defining, life-defining role? No, no, I mean, the idea of like taking it on was, was one thing and then being concerned about being, you know, gosh, is this gonna be, am I, am I gonna be 50 years old and in tights? I'm like, cause nobody <laughs> wants to see that. I know I don't. And I guess here I am doing it, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, being a father and seeing the effects, not for my daughter, cause she still doesn't know what daddy does for a living. Cause she, she's eight now, but she's gonna get to see this one finally. She like, Hawkeye looks like that. Yeah, you know, or Zaggy, she's like, you're in my pajamas, dad. But like, <laughs> what do you do? I don't get it, you know? <laughs> but the, the, the life changing part of it was really about the kids. That's just the coolest thing ever, yeah. right? If you can like, hey, do I love, love to go to my, you know, drop my daughter off at school and light up that playground? Heck yeah, I do. I think that's pretty awesome, you know? Jem from the town isn't going to do that for the kids in the playground, right? Teachers, when we're growing up, you know, they used to always say, hey, you can have this one. He's a real gem. That character. Or look at the her locker guy. I'm pretty sure I could figure out a redneck piece of trailer trash like you. It's just not going to light up kids in the playground. It looks like you're on the right track. So I get a lot of joy out of, I'll because I'll do anything to make a kid smile or <laughs> bring joy to their faces. Hey, Mommy, a superhero. Wow, Stevie, you want to say hi? It, that's you know the coolest takeaway from being Clint Barton after all these years, and now get to continue to do it, and now I get to watch it with my daughter. Oh. Right? So that's just another part of the, another part of this journey that uh, is continuing, and I can be more blessed. Hey, look, that one's you. No, it's Katniss Everdeen. Let's go. What do you like most about your character? And I have some suggestions to help you. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> because I think Clint is thoroughly underutilized, right? And I'm mm -hmm. so glad that the show is giving him a bit more time. Yeah. Here's why I love him. He's like the ace. He is so unbelievably good at what he does. Yeah. And so casually good at it. Like the yeah. dart scene from Ultron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what they're saying? He's fixated on the missiles. But the codes are constantly being changed. By whom? Love that stuff. Yeah. The whole jokes, he's kind of dry wit, mm. the I can't not sink a hole in one 18 rounds. <laughs> yeah. Love that stuff. Yeah. Hey Clint. Hey, man. Clearly retirement doesn't suit you. You got tired of shooting golf? Well, I played 18, shot 18. This game seemed to miss. You cannot sneak up on him. You have to really work very hard to get around his hyper-awareness. I've done the whole mind control thing. Not a fan. But more than anything, he's got this good dad vibe. Mm -hmm. Ooh, incoming. <gasps> Hi, sweetheart. Hey, buddy. How you guys doing? He's got this great, reliable, he's gonna be there for you. He's the guy that will, of all the Avengers, pick you up the airport. Yeah. Do not even worry about it. Yeah. He'll be there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What are the things you like most about him? Apart from obviously being able to shoot down a Chitauri fly without even looking. Well, they can't bank with a damn. <laughs> Find a tight corner. He's consistent like gravity, like, like student debt. He's just, <laughs> he's just always, right? <laughs> Whether you like it or not, he's always like the guy that might pick you up at the airport. Yeah. Right? <laughs> he's gonna. I mean, he's, he's just there. War, literally. I'm not ready for this. I'm game. That to me is his steadfastness as a principle. I'll do it. I think where you, you mentioned the word like like under under utilize. Or, yeah. You know, well, look, he was the head of West Coast Avengers. Like, I would personally love to see him be in that sort of Captain America leader role, actually, which I think he would succeed in, like calling the shots and do these type of things, right? Great. Um, as a quarterback, mm -hmm. instead of like being more of like a wide receiver, these type of things, right? It, like that would be really interesting, I think, to to see him do. But I, I love the accessibility of this character because he is a, a superhero has no superpowers, yep. but he makes it accessible, right? As a human, mm -hmm. and I think that's a wonderful message to say to kids. Uh, why is he a superhero? What actions does he do? Well, it's selfless. It's this. It's serving yeah. others, and da da. da. It's you know, selfless. He works really hard. Yeah, yeah. He's a professional. Yeah, yeah. He cares for his family. Yeah, yeah. These are pretty, pretty good uh, attributes for a superhero, if I think that. I think a lot of people could 
acquire. Yeah. I want you to be aware of this Reddit post I saw a couple of years ago. Maybe you've seen it. But someone said, the Avengers are 7-0 in battles that include Hawkeye. Yeah. What do you want me to do with this damn thing? They are 0-4 in battles either against him <laughs> or without him. We're in the end game now. <laughs> Just the maths, guys. <laughs> I mean, Make him your quarterback. I mean, do, yeah, do the stats. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> what would you say have been your favorite Hawkeye moments over the years? Again, I've got suggestions. All of these wisecracks. Get down! What? You didn't see that coming? I think in particular, it's the wisecracks that you deliver and the ones that get delivered to you. Mm -hmm. Because he can give and receive. Yeah, yeah. I think one of my favorite moments is Natasha saying, Are you sure he's going to be okay? Pretending to need this guy really brings the team together. But what have been your favorite Hawkeye moments? My takeaways, I mean, I love the action sequences. Th th those are some of the most fun for me, because uh, the, there's some really great fun ones in this. Yeah. From some good wire work and nice stunt stuff and good fight sequences and, you know, fighting. Even uh, Black Widow, you know, geez, that was a long time ago. <laughs> wow, wow. We're still friends, right? Depends on how hard you hit me. I love doing the, the stunts um, yeah. a lot in this because it was very challenging and um, that taught me a lot. Things have gotten more complicated. I love the line, the city's flying. We're fighting an army of robots and I have a bow and arrow. None, None of, of this, this makes, makes sense. sense. Okay, look, the city is flying. We're fighting an army of robots. And I have a bow and arrow. None of this makes sense. Yeah. That, he just levels everything. Yeah. And brings everyone down to, yeah, this is mad. Yeah. But I've got a job to do. That's right. Let's get it done. You must be aware, though, of, <laughs> like, you did that SNL skit, which was so great. <laughs> now, Hawkeye, it's time to do your thing. I'm out of arrows. <laughs> what? And I feel like it kind of comes back again with Rogers the Musical in, mm -hmm. in this TV show. Yeah, yeah. What was it like seeing the singing and the dancing? To be honest, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. They did a really good job. There's a lot of, those are, that was a big, big production. Trying to look the kids to New York to see a show. Sounds pretty cool to me. It was a bit too good. I was like, ah. I might go to see this. I, I know, I know, I know. That's a thing. <laughs> that's we all, all were kind of feeling. It's like, well, this might be a Disneyland before you know it, or something's gonna happen here. I don't, I don't know what something's gonna happen out of it. But uh, yeah, it was. It was uh, that was one of the last things that we that we shot on on the series. Wow. And uh, <laughs> surreal. What an ender. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here's the Hulk. There's. Ant Man for some reason, there's all this exactly. stuff going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it does remind me of the memes that have grown around Hawkeye of alien invasion, you say? I better bring at least 20 arrows then. <laughs> um, another one is Captain America's shield, Wonder Woman's shield, and Hawkeye's shield next to a picture of Quicksilver. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, when you're in the middle of a haircut and your hairdresser gets killed by Thanos. <laughs> yeah. And my favorite of all, and I, I showed this to your friend and mine, well, mainly your friend. Paul Rudd and also Scarlet, which is somebody recreated the Avengers Endgame poster, but everyone got a Hawkeye fade or a mega perm. So I'm gonna show this to you and hopefully you'll appreciate the gloriousness of this. <laughs> so you got Chris there. Yeah, yeah. I think Robert needs to see this. Yeah, absolutely. And just have a word. <laughs> Maybe next Halloween. Uh, Hemsworth. <laughs> Incredible. I mean, yeah. even, even Rocket Raccoon gets a good look. Yeah, I love it. You've worn a number of costumes over the years. Some cool costumes. What's that on his head? That's an hatred for Hawkeye. Oh, wow. Have you kept any? I think I saw on your Instagram that you've got a quiver and you've got a bow. Do you still have the whole set? No, I never had anything. And I asked, asked for it just a couple weeks ago. <gasps> um, first looks of all, thought I probably should have one. Yeah. Just kind of nice. And then I think, because I, I really want it for my daughter. Because the school asked asked some of the parents to say if they'd help with the, the kids and unloading from the cars to get to their rooms and all this stuff. Like if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it as Hawkeye, right? 
So I asked for a suit. And so they got it to me literally that day. And then it was around Halloween. So then my daughter was like, I want you to do the Hawkeye thing. Then I realized, I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, of course, I'll do it for you, darling. And I realized that I always had some person or two help me get this thing on. Because uh -huh. it's, you know. Gonna get crowbar in. Yeah, it's a whole, it's a whole, there's a lot of things, you know. There's, yeah, there's so many things. And so it took me a long time, but uh, once I got in the dang thing, um, I'm glad I did it. And uh, that was our Halloween sort of get up. Happy Halloween. I mean, you know you could freak people out at Comic-Cons if you did that. Just strap yourself in, be the actual Hawkeye. I mean, that happened at the Halloween party. When you walk in, it's like, because there's a lot of kids, there's like 30 kids. And the, there's 10-year-old, 13-year-old, 14-year-olds, all the way down to, you know, three-year-olds. But like, when you walk, like, that, that's a great Hawkeye costume. <laughs> That guy looks just like Hawkeye. Wait, that is. And then the chaos ensued. And then I was just serving pizzas to all these kids. When fans do spot you and they're not asking for a selfie, what do they traditionally say? Do they start engaging with you on a character level or is it just a, hey, that's cool? Yeah, man, so it's all, you get, you get all of it. You get all it's, of it's it. It's all of it, yeah, it's all of it. It could be somebody from the military, so the Hurt Locker, it could be, ah. um, that's a very emotional experience. I imagine there was a lot immediately after the events of Endgame, when that came out, yeah. a whole lot of emotions, because I remember yeah. my eyes filling up seeing the the signatures at the end. Yeah, yeah. It kind of blew me away. Yeah, Did yeah. Did you watch that movie in cinemas? I saw it at the premiere, but that was just something to celebrate for all of us. It was, we were all laughing and weeping, and it was a lot. That was a lot to do. I'll, I can't, I'll never watch that again. That was a, was a difficult experience. <laughs> yeah. was, we were all just, we're, we're a sobbing mess and we're laughing. Our, yeah, it was amazing. We were just, we we're like an audience members and that was awesome to experience. I mean, that was, that was a lovely, beautiful experience to share. Yeah. What advice would you give your younger self before you took this on? Um, it's, uh, hydrate. <laughs> Drink water. Drink That's water. it. Perfect answer. <laughs> Jeremy, thank you so much. It's been emotional. I'm so grateful to you. Yeah, man. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast screen time on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plump. <laughs>